Hey, Precalc. Trig day three is going to be a short, quick lesson for us on what I've titled ugly angles. And I realize that might sound a little scary to start, but you'll see what I mean in a moment here. We're going to quickly start by recapping a process where we can work backwards to find the angles that satisfy something like sine theta equals negative a half or secant theta equals radical two. So as a reminder as to what this process looks like, you're going to first determine in what quadrants is sine negative. And that's where we're going to draw some triangles. So sine is negative, all star trig class in quadrants three and four. So I'm going to draw my triangles there, here and here. Remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So label the opposites as the negative one, the hypotenuses as two. And those are my thetas right there. So when I'm thinking about this special triangle, we've got radical three on the other sides. And hopefully you can very quickly at this point come up with a reference angle of and when I say reference angle, notice how right underneath I said, let's work in degrees for this one. By the time I get over here, I want to think about radians. So the reference angle across from one is a 30 degree reference. Now keep in mind, we have to apply that to quadrant three and then quadrant four. So in quadrant three, remember the rule is take 180 and then add on your reference of 30. 180 plus 30 is 210. In quadrant four, you take the full circle 360 and subtract out the reference of 30 to get 330 degrees. So as soon as you get confident with the process, that's how fast some of those questions go. Moving across the way to secant theta equals radical two, if you like the radical two over one so that you can think of the hypotenuse over the adjacent, you definitely have to know secant is the reciprocal of cosine. And knowing that helps me pick out which quadrants we're in. Cosine is positive in one and four. So you're going to draw a triangle in quadrant one and a triangle in quadrant four. Okay, if we're labeling hypotenuse is radical two and the adjacent is one, that's that shared side. I'm hoping this stands out right away as being the one, one radical two triangle. So what's the reference angle? The reference angle is across from one, 45 degrees. But remember, we should really be working in radians here according to how theta is defined. So 45 degrees is gonna be pi over four. And therefore your quadrant one answer is pi over four. To get the quadrant four answer, what we're gonna do is we're gonna almost go full way around. Now remember, full way around in radians is two pi. But what is that with a denominator of four? Well, if I multiply the bottom by four, the top by four would make it eight pi over four. So if I take the full circle eight pi over four and I subtract out that little reference of pi over four, that leaves me with seven pi over four. I can barely squeeze that in, but I got it. Pi over four and seven pi over four. Those are the two answers in radians that satisfy this equation right here. So if we're kind of good with that concept, let's talk about what I mean by ugly angles. So if I were to give you the example for number three, let's talk about sine theta equals two thirds. Sine theta equals two thirds. You can set it up in a similar way that we have for the others. You can say, well, hey, sine is positive in one and two. And here's my theta that I want to find. Okay. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. And even with the two and the three, they kind of look familiar, but there's not a special angle that gives me a ratio of two thirds for the sine function. So it's not going to be some, you know, 30, 45 or 60 degree reference. So what we have to do to find the reference angle here is we're going to type in sine inverse of two thirds. So what I want you to double check right now is what mode your calculator is, because we're gonna do degrees first. So if I go to mode right now, my calculator is in radian, because I know we've done stuff in radians lately. I'm gonna switch it over to degree, quit that screen and do second sign, second sign of two thirds. And this will give me the reference angle that we're working with. It's 41.81 dot, dot, dot. Let's go to the nearest 10th of a degree. Let's say that the reference angle here is 41.8 degrees. 
So I have to take that and get a quadrant one and a quadrant two answer. Well, quadrant one, it's nice because that's just 41.8. But in quadrant two, we know we're going to do 180 minus that. So 180 minus that last answer is 138.2. So minus the 41.8 is 138.2. So it's just the calculator doing a little bit more of the work for us because it's a non-special angle. Okay, we don't know a pattern that exists when the opposite is two and the hypotenuse is three. So we're gonna get those two answers from the calculator. What if instead of nearest 10th of a degree, right? That's what we just rounded to. I had said, well, what about, let's round this to the nearest minute. How would I do that? Nearest minute, remember minute, we're talking about degrees, minutes, and seconds. All we're gonna do is you're gonna take that reference angle from up here, which is 41.81 dot, 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 and go to apps, not apps, hold on, second apps, your angle category, and you're gonna cho choose option four, DMS. I don't know, it's in the wrong spot, guys. All right, let's try this again. Sine inverse of two thirds, here's the reference angle, 41.8. Second apps and then choice four converted to degrees, minutes, seconds. Here it is. It's 41 degrees, 48 minutes, and 37 seconds and change. Remember, the weird rule about rounding here is that if the seconds are more than 30, this rounds up. Because we're talking about 60 seconds in one minute. So to the nearest minute, your quadrant one answer here would be 41 degrees and 49 minutes. You would round that up. To get quadrant two, I still do 180 minus. 180 minus this answer is 138.18, just like we saw earlier. Second apps convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds. And that's 138 degrees, 11 minutes, and 23-ish seconds. That's not larger than 30 seconds. So the other answer is 138 degrees and 11 minutes. Lastly, what if I said round to the nearest hundredth? of a radian, uh-oh, hundredth of a radian. We still have a quadrant one and a quadrant two answer. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to radian mode. Pretty important if we're gonna do this in radians. Okay, so once I'm in radian mode, I'm gonna have to type in again, sine inverse of two thirds. This is the reference angle. The reference angle is 0.7297 radians. So in quadrant one, we don't do anything with the angle we leave it as 0 0.73. That's how many radians would be in your quadrant one answer. What do I do for quadrant two? It's not 180 minus anymore like I did up here, it's pi minus. It's pi minus the 0 0.73 answer, right? Halfway around is pi, subtract the reference. So on the home screen, type that in, pi minus this answer is 2.41. And these would be the two answers if we did radians. So you really just have to pay close attention to the directions. Do I want the nearest tenth of a degree, the nearest minute, the nearest hundredth of a radian? You can see why I've called these ugly angles, because we have to round them to a certain place and they don't look as clean as 210, 330, pi over four, seven pi over four, but that's okay, we can still find them. I'm gonna do one more just so that we're kind of confident with some calculator work here. The last one that we'll try is Let's do tan theta equals negative radical five over three. Okay, first things first, where is tan negative? Tan is negative in quadrants two and four. We've got opposite of negative radical five, adjacent of three. And as soon as I label those things, I can see that, oops, and actually this would be the positive, this is the negative. I can see that this is not a special triangle. I've never seen radical five on a side, right? So I'm not thinking 30, 45, and 60 for the reference angles. Um, let's find the reference angle using the calculator. And I'm in radians right now, so I'm gonna leave it in radians for a second. In radians, we would have a quadrant two answer, and then we'd also have a quadrant four answer. Here's the thing, it's super important to find the reference angle that we do, in this case, tan inverse 
of positive radical five over three. If you include the negative, you're gonna get a negative reference angle, which is gonna sound really weird. And we don't know why that happens until much later on in trig. So notice how when I do second tan, I'm gonna do positive radical five over three. Why am I allowed to ignore the negative when I type this in the calculator? It's because the negative just helps me pick out which quadrants I'm in. But when I type it into the calculator, please do not use the negative. That will be something that's a, a pretty big detail to pay attention to. In radians, there's my answer. Now keep in mind, this is the quadrant one reference angle. The reference is about 0.64 radians. So how do I get my quadrant two answer? We just did that a second ago. It's pi minus that reference angle. How do I get a quadrant four answer in radians? It's almost full circle. So we take two pi and subtract out that reference angle. That's what we're gonna do to get my two answers in radians. Pi minus this is 2.50. And then two pi minus, just make sure you go back and get the reference angle. Don't do two pi minus the last answer. Two pi minus your reference is 5.64. So these would be the two answers if you are in radians. Let's do just one more where we go to the nearest minute again, just to get practice with that on the calculator. When we say nearest minute, we gotta be back in degree mode. So just really quickly, change your mode to degrees, quit there. You gotta type in tan inverse of radical five over three again, because now we're in degree mode. We have a new reference angle. It's about 37 degrees. In quadrant two, how do I get the answer? It's 180 minus the reference angle. So 180 minus this reference angle is 143.3 dot, dot, dot. Let's do second apps converted to degrees, minutes, seconds. It's 143 degrees and 18 minutes. It would not round up to the next minute. So 143 and 18 minutes. As a reminder for quadrant four, the other quadrant we're in, it would be 360 minus the reference angle. So now if I do 360 minus this, remember go back and get the 36 degree reference or 37 degrees. There's my angle to convert to degrees, minutes, seconds, second apps, choice four. This is 323 degrees and 18 minutes. 323 degrees. 18 minutes. So it takes a little while to get a, a solid understanding and the hang of typing things into the calculator, but these would be the other two answers if we said to the nearest minute. So I promise next time we see each other in class, we'll do more practice with this calculator work here and getting these ugly answers. All right, but that's it for today. Have a great rest of your day.